Pacers and the Austin P. Govs, the 96th meeting between these two as the tip goes to the Racers. Only the fourth meeting as non conference opponents, longtime members of the Ohio Valley Conference. Of course, Murray State now in the Missouri Valley. Austin P. has gone to the A Sun as Alexis Burpo comes up short. Taya Douglas inside. Corner, it's an Alan Nelson. Bria Sanders Woods getting the start tonight. We've seen her come off the bench uh, earlier this season, really gives some. A uh, strong energy coming off that bench, but uh, picks up the foul there. Nice. Gabby Smalls yeah. got up in the air. Yeah, absolutely. When you leave your feet, obviously you're stuck, and sometimes you end up looking for a bailout pass. It's just not there and normally doesn't lead to anything good. Caitlin Young, Macy Turley for three as the racers. Yeah, Turley went to set that down screen, and uh, they went back door on it. She did a good job of recognizing that and filling to the top. Miscommunication allowed her to get an open look. She knocked it in. Great pass underneath. Caitlin Young, three straight, double-double, strong into the post. Gets it to go. Uh, finished through contact for an in one. Good back cut from Burpo. Nice pass from Young and good finish. The great back cut from, from Burpo is the racers now with an early six-point lead over Austin P. Down low, Shamari Hale with the miss. So much, so much comes out of there, and so many again options. And what between Young and Turley and, and the possessions they ran into this point. Young to the line, Hannah McKay. We'd seen those two start earlier in the season, and a rare miss. I guess the announcer jinx in the first four minutes of the game as McKay. Or uh, rather, Young with the miss. Then off the turnover, nice Turley to McKay. Lays that in. Timeout, Austin P. Mariah Adams over. Jada Roberson, Adams. Shot clock now down to 10. Great rotations defensively here. You could see McKay early on fencing in the low post, trying to uh, discourage it from going in and just really making it tough on them and come away with another stop. Shamari Hale unable to finish near the rim over Young. Caitlin Young, foot on the line, but gets it to go anyway. Yeah, it really puts you in a bind, you know. If she's going to be knocking in those uh, perimeter jumpers like she's capable of, and you're going to expect your five to get out there and pressure her, and then she can put it on the floor like we've seen a couple times here already. Young feeling it. The heat check three is good. And she's feeling good right now. Figure you get one on the line, you might as well go for another. Hannah McKay with the steal, strong to the basket, lays it in. Timeout number two already for Austin P. head coach Brittany Young. This is now a 15-0 run from the Racers. Trying to get something going here. To McKay, for seeing a Horvath now with the ball, strong to the basket with the right hand. It's off Alexis Burpo. Noticed nobody was coming to hit her, flew in there, and was able to pick that thing up. Knocks both of them down. Mariah Adams inside. Yeah, for sure. A nice move. Not that it was an easy shot uh, by any means. As uh, Horvath to Horvath. Connor. Casey Connor lays it in. As Austin P has missed their last nine shots from the field trying to break the ice, get a little positive vibe going before the end of the quarter, and they get one right there. Ashley Curvin with the bucket underneath, and that ends a 19-0 Murray State run over the last seven and a half minutes. It looks like the Govs coming out with uh, some really good energy defensively, this possession, really in a stance, talking, so they Sanders, start getting something going. Maria Sanders-Woods. Shot clock back at 20. Caitlin Young. Ooh, man. Here come the Govs on the run. Nice take. Yep. Right. As Austin P going to the free throw line for the first time so far in the game. The uh, grad transfer out of Old Dominion. Young, spin move, so tough, lays it in off the glass. She has 
11. Forcing Young to step up and take that high post and then looking to seal that wing um, down on the block there uh, with that corner loaded on that side for that drop off. But be interesting to see if they can connect on that a little more here moving forward. Yamaya Johnson with the shot fake and gets the 15-footer. Turley and Young again just working that that two-player action there on the wing. The three is off. Yeah, with the way she can shoot it, you know, if you're hedging ball screens. We close in on the media timeout here in the second quarter. Just two points in the quarter so far for the racers. There's Jordan Hughes with the corner three. It was long, and Yamaya Johnson comes out of there with the rebound. Racers have missed their last five field goals, haven't scored in nearly three and a half minutes as the Govs climbing back into this. Yes, still a long way to go, and you can see Adams is really starting to play with some confidence again. Nice penetration, nice drop off over the top for an easy two. Shamari Hale with the bucket there as Austin P has climbed back to within a dozen. Again, we'll get to immediate timeout at our next whistle. Macy Turley's layup is strong. And Austin P now with a chance with a three ball to get this back to single digits. Yeah, big possession here. Anala Nelson gets it to go. And Austin P, once down 20 in the first quarter, has cut that deficit in half. Caitlin Young, the fake handoff. I mean, that's just all day. Yeah, love the idea, though. Backdoor in it, right? See, she's getting overplayed at the elbow after she's caught there. Uh, pretty much at will to this point, and just weren't able to quite connect on that for that to lead to two. Great block. Down low there by Shamari Hale. You know, try and get a block on that, but just make her make that tough one. Don't put her to the free throw line. And Young loses it in the middle. Murray State just one of nine, their last nine from the field as Jada Roberson gets ahead of the pack and lays it in. The race has really dominated that first quarter, obviously, but since then it's been... Sanders Woods, the 5'8 junior guard out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Second one is short. Going to be content to hold this for the final shot of the quarter and go in at worst down nine, which certainly 15, 20 minutes ago in real time, they would have taken and run for the hills. And there's Taya Douglas for three, beats the horn, knocks down the triple as Murray State. Give both these teams credit. Obviously, the Racers with how they started and then how uh, Austin P has responded. Uh, can't wait for this second half to get going. This should be a, uh, a good one the rest of the way. Austin P basketball to start the third quarter. Taya Douglas, nice backdoor pass. Gets it underneath there to Shamari Hale, unable to finish. Boy, a golden opportunity gets away from Austin P to really dig into this lead, but it remains at six. It was a really nice looking set there to open up the half and got what they wanted out of it with that back door and a nice drop off. Just weren't able to finish, but get a steal here. Anala Nelson with the steal and gets the basket to go with an opportunity for a three-point play. They're really getting out into those passing lanes and uh, maybe just trying to disrupt uh, the racers' rhythm a little bit and not let them uh, kind of swing the ball wherever they want to get into some of their sets to get the ball inside. And Nelson, the only freshman starter. Again, two seniors, two grad transfers, and the freshman Nelson, she's leading the team tonight with five points. They have spread the scoring out across eight different players and now down low to Hale. Really after the first quarter when they were running that cross action, they haven't gotten a lot of that here uh, in recent, uh, really in the last quarter and a half or so. Hale with the block shot. The Govs just have to find a way to make someone else beat them besides oh, shot clock violation. 20-point hole. They were down 22-2. to two. And here we are back within one early in the third quarter. Get it inside. That is the second personal foul on Caitlin Young. Just can't pick up that third here early on in this uh, third quarter, and you know uh, the Govs are going to be looking to try and draw one. And for the first time tonight, Austin P is on top, 28-27. Young underneath. and But the Govs still hanging in without her. 
clearing those guards off her and then letting her have that ISO if uh, none of the guards are open. Hale's done a good job on Young down low so far with a couple of blocked shots. Mariah Adams kicks it out. Shot is blocked. And here goes Alexis Burpo. Turley, corner three, big three as the racers stretch the lead back out to six. Uh, For teammates and then still give her a chance to go one-on-one when she can. 28-27, but then ripped off seven in a row and a chance now to extend this lead, which is six. Hannah McKay, great look. You know, nice job from the racers on that inbounds under, and uh, Austin P has done a great job. You can tell both these teams are really prepared. The last trip down, a deflection on defense now, rebound, and now it's Caitlin Young with the great look into Alexis Burpo. You know, I wondered at some point if uh, Austin P would go to that and maybe just running a double at her and just making her give it up, but with the spacing and where she has it on the floor. Murray State a chance to get this back to double figures. Sanders Woods. Before the defender has a chance to react, like you see it, you're you're catching and going up, and they're normally like, oh, man, what just happened? Caitlin Young now with 20 on the night to go along with her six rebounds and three assists. Make that 21 as Murray State has once again opened up a double-digit lead over the Govs. Yeah, these next few possessions are, are huge here to end this quarter, and there's said, Jada Roberson oh, got man. in the middle of that zone. Not a good feeling, but said hopefully um, maybe it's just a tweak and she'll be able to get back in it. Austin P bringing the pressure, which we saw in that second quarter. We talked about they didn't really force many turnovers with it, but it seemed to wake them up in the first half. Adams. Good read. Good Mahogany shot. Mahogany Vaught with a shot fake from 18 feet. And there is the bucket and one, Yamaya Johnson. Exploding up with power through contact to uh, to get the and one. Uh, seventh in the country at the line. Johnson 20th in the country. She's at 93%. You know, four across the foul line there with, uh, with the Govs denying everything real hard. And obviously you're susceptible to that uh, like Connor did. And then Young was able to draw the foul there on the other end. 41 of 43 from the free throw line this season. And to your point from earlier, not sure how many of those 41 even hit the rim. Nice little runner from Mariah Adams. They're not going away, Mark. 42-37 here with about 90 seconds left in the third quarter. Young from 15 knocks it down. Young now with 25 points. Just such a complete offensive player. And, you know, it just seems like every time they need that big bucket, um, She's able to provide it for him. Mahogany Vaught at the same time. We saw the first quarter all Murray, second quarter really all Austin P. and now both teams rolling as Young. And taking it to him, being aggressive. First one is good. Still think you can underscore enough just how much of a weapon is she is down low. That you, you can't foul her because you obviously see her percentages from the free throw line. But, yeah, like I, said, I don't know what you do with her. I really don't. Going with that 1-4 set. Here comes Hannah McKay to set the screen. Two seconds, one. Almost banks it in, but it is off. And through 30 minutes, Murray State on top of Austin P. 46-39. Really carried them uh, to this point and uh, done some really good things on both ends of the floor. But the way she's scoring it with uh, the efficiency she's scoring it at, um, it's been really impressive to watch. Mariah Adams, little up and under. Yeah, you could see some of their T-shirts on the Govs bench say no quit, and that's certainly been the case here uh, tonight. I don't think they're going away. I mean, outside of Davidson in that Duke game, all of their losses have went down to the wire and really impressed with their team. Turley shooting 82.5% from the line this year. That is a career low for her. She's shooting 89% for her career, the inside and out, when you can send somebody like yeah. Turley, who knocks both of them down there. That's a way you can close out basketball games. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what a luxury to have, right? You figure you should be able to get it in at least one of their hands with Turley being your point guard and then um, Young obviously having a five on her. And it's truly a balanced attack. Sanders Woods for three is short. Adams to Hale. Working that high post. 
Adams from 19, and it's good. And Austin P. Making a little bit of a run here, eight to go. You know, for the Govs, like I said, when they needed that bucket or someone to make a play, uh, she's been able to provide it for them as uh, Turley, Turley comes up through the wall screen. Again, hit that huge three at the end of the half, at the end of the first quarter. Yeah, she's just so solid and just has such a great feel and just never seems to be in a hurry. He plays really fast. As Austin P refuses to go away, Turley's pass. Jada Roberson back in the game. Almost creating that contact, but Burpo's still moving. Like I said, that's one of those ones if you're wearing yellow. The senior guard transfer in from Wright State. She's out of Indianapolis. Got him. There it is. Going into 31. Nehemiah Johnson. Roberson strong to the basket. Some force like that, regardless of if you get the ball or not. I'm not saying that she didn't have some contact or that wasn't a foul, but I uh, definitely think that was the right call in that instance. Roberson averaging 7.1 points per game. Uh, had a chance to, to get one into McKay. I'm fortunate to get a foul call there as they go to that quick lob again. <laughs> Easy two for Caitlin Young. <laughs> and those ones are demoralizing, right? You know, tie game. Locked in, and you just give up just a quick, easy one where your defense really doesn't have a chance. But And Austin be really answer. the last couple of trips as Roberson against Burpo gets it to go and the foul as she will go to the line again here in the fourth quarter, now with an opportunity to put Austin P on top as Burpo picks up her second foul. A little bit of a clear out on the initial dribble down there. Wonder, you know, it, you almost want to ask an official, well, what do you want him to do there? Like you said, she's ducking her head, going in there and kind of forcing her way to the rim. Get the ball to Caitlin Young. Yeah, you can see that's really the focus here, and they're crowding around her. Uh, get it back inside on reversal as opposed to with their defense just completely set and surrounding her. Tough leaner wow. gets it to go. Two slips, yep. Ooh. Connor trying to force it in. Yamaya Johnson might have gotten away with the walk. Keeps it alive. Gets it to Mariah Adams with a little turnaround. Timeout, Rochelle Turner. Timeout, Murray State as Austin P. Make you hit that 15-footer, so it'll be interesting to see if uh, maybe they're able to get to some of that as they go back to this elbow iso again. And 31 points. She has done that three times already in her career. She also did it in this building in February against Austin P. She had 31. She now has 31 as the racers back to within three, three minutes to go. Shamari Hale finishing at the rim as Austin P. breaks that racer press and goes back up by five. Yeah, both teams, like I said, it's been back and forth all night, really stepping up and making plays. Turley trying Turley to draw the contact the inside, does not. Kind of falls off from there. They have not had many other offensive options uh, come through so far. Down low, Austin P has out to seven with 2.09 to go. Yeah, Adams has really had a nice game. You can kind of just see it in her eyes. She kind of feels like that uh, they can't stop her at this point. Hannah McKay gets one to go as Murray State now within five as Murray State really trying to force the issue with the press. But Austin P handles it nicely. So we've got 1.45 to go, 15 on the shot clock. Adam Strong to the basket over Turley. No weak side help came. As Adams finishes, she's now got 16, and Austin P back up seven with 90 ticks left. Yeah, she's really kind of taken over this game here these last few minutes. And McKay for three gets it to go. Like you said, see that ball go through the hoop, and then all of a sudden. Good things start to happen, three. absolutely. Hey, confidence can change in a hurry. Just one three-pointer made all season long before tonight, and that one could not have come at a bigger time as the racers back to within four. Yeah, that was a huge one. You're getting into that danger zone. Shamari Hale gets open underneath. Great look from Mariah Adams. As Austin P now up six as we are under a minute. Yeah, it's tough. You know, the racers want to go double there and kind of force the issue here, but it's just tough when you leave the rim, and they recognize it, obviously. It leads to an easy one for them. Caitlin Young's three rattles out and comes. 
Uh, Jada Roberson comes out with the rebound and the racers now. Time to foul Jordan Hughes. Um, give the Govs credit. They recognized it and found the open man and uh, got a layup out of it. 93% from the free throw line this season. She goes to the line for two. Uh, missing the first. Knocks down the second. And with 29 ticks left, not much time for uh, any empty trips. Jordan Hughes for three, knocks it down. Interesting alignment here. Looks like they might try and go over the top backside. Oh, and get it in. Get it into Yamaya Johnson, who's just begging for somebody to foul her as she will go to the line now with 21.2. But I like it because it really makes it tough with how spread out everyone is to go double as soon as it comes in if you're going to try and get a quick trap and basically forces your opponent to foul. Makes the first and the second, you know, get it, get a uh, scoreless possession and and try to get back into the game. But especially against this Austin P team that's so good so far, closing the elevator doors again. Turley for three Jeez. and she knocks it down. Sixty-nine, sixty-six with thirteen point two to go. Austin P without a timeout, they get it into Yamaya Johnson. It's a turnover there uh, with them being out of timeouts, but also you don't want precious time taking off the clock with him essentially being able to hold it for yeah, 10 out of the last uh, 12 seconds. Yamaya Johnson, 93% from the line this year. Knocks down the first and the second, 71-66. And they're going to need some magic to happen here in the final 11.1 if they want to get out of here with a win. Taking way too much time bringing this up the floor. Caitlin Young. Strong to the basket, has her shot blocked out of bounds. We do. No, we have a foul called. As Caitlin Young will go to the line for two with 3.8 to go, and this is really a tight spot here for the racers as she misses. Racers out of timeouts. No chance to advance the ball. As Young makes the second, that is a career high for her now with 32 points, but down four with 3.8 left, barring that five-second call, which they don't get. And the racers have called it off as Rochelle Turner and her racers go down 71-67.